Hi and welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a man about town. So this is a, a simple variation on a classic boulevardia, uh, which a boulevardia is uh, whiskey, sweet vermouth and Campari, which is a twist on a Negroni. Um, today I've, well yesterday I received a bottle of gospel rye going on someone's recommendation. It's an Australian rye uh, made from 100% rye mash bill and then aged in new American oak for two years and aged in Melbourne, Australia. It's received 94 points on nix.com.au, which is a big Australian retailer here. So that's one of the reasons that I jumped straight on it. Uh, and then I'm following that up with a, an Adelaide Hills uh, sweet vermouth. Um, this is made, Sasha the distiller spent some time in Italy, I believe, and this is a, a Torino style vermouth with a little bit of an Australian twist. Uh, it's got, I think, anise myrtle and guandong, uh, which are Australian natives. And then we've got Gina, uh, Sicilian bitter. So I'll give this uh, a try. I've had a few people ask me to do whiskey tastings on the channel, but to be honest, I'm not a big straight whiskey drinker, so I don't know how that'd actually go. Don't drink a lot of whiskey. Oh, just cheers myself. <laughs> and if you are a big whiskey drinker, make sure you get one of these Glen Khan glasses. I'll link to one of those in the description below so you can check it out. So it's described as a full flavored rye with fresh baked rye bread on the nose. Smells like bread. That is beautiful, uh, nice, nice and spicy, and I think that's actually going to go really, really well in this this particular cocktail. So, measure out 60 ml, two ounces, stir drink, so straight into mixing glass. So 60 rye, 30 vermouth, And this recipe comes from the Gramercy Tavern in New York City. So if anyone's familiar, anyone's been to that place, give them a shout out in the comments. Uh, 30 ml, one ounce of china. And then do a mixing glass of ice. And stir it down for 20, 30 seconds. Strain that into a chilled coop. And garnish with a brandied or maraschino cherry. And they have the man about town. Cheers. Oh, that is delicious. I really like the Adelaide Hills uh, vermouth. Um, that Torino in style, just with that little little Australian twist. This works really well. Nice spiciness to it. I believe the original recipe does call for Rittenhouse rye, which is um, pretty sure 100 proof, so 50%. This is 40, 45, so it's still still pretty gutsy in comparison to other whiskies in Australia that vary between 37 and 45, so it's at the upper end of the scale. It's got a nice nice bitterness to it, rounded out with that spiciness of the rye, the sweetness from the vermouth. This is tasty. If you like Negronis or Boulevardias, give this a go. Thanks for watching. If you're in Australia and you're keen to support a couple of local distilleries, then I'll leave a link to the Gospel uh, Rye Whiskey and the Adelaide Hills Distillery. Until next time, cheers.